Israel is ready for strikes on Iranian nuclear facilities. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has insisted that the option of attacking an Iranian nuclear facility in self-defense must be left on the table, arguing that the chief of the UN's International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, made an unworthy statement when he declared that any such strikes are banned. Are we forbidden to defend ourselves, Netanyahu said in a cabinet meeting? Of course, we are allowed, and of course, we are doing this. Nothing will prevent us from protecting our country and preventing oppressors from destroying the Jewish state. Netanyahu's remarks came a day after IAEA Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi was asked by a reporter about U.S and Israeli threats to attack Iran if it doesn't agree to curb its nuclear program. Any military attack on a nuclear facility is outlawed, is out of the normative structure that we all abide by, Grossi said at a press briefing in Tehran after meeting with Iranian leaders. That principle applies to all nuclear facilities, including Europe's biggest atomic facility in Zaporozhye. Netanyahu said no such prohibition could apply to Israel. Rafael Grossi is a worthy person who made an unworthy remark, he said. Outlawed by what law? Is Iran, which publicly calls for our extermination, allowed to protect its weapons of destruction that will slaughter us? Tehran has denied having any ambition to acquire nuclear weapons. Iran signed a deal with the US and other world powers in 2015, agreeing to impose restrictions on its nuclear industry, including uranium enrichment to allay fears about its potential for warhead development. Washington reneged on the agreement in 2018 when then US President Donald Trump said he would instead apply maximum pressure through sanctions on Iran to contain its nuclear program.